Wow, you guys, this is Sol's new car. I'm so proud of her. She uh, got this recently. And we are both matching now. Lol, she still has to sell her old car, which is not But um, we're well, kind of matching. We, I have like the hard top version, she has the soft top version. This is absolutely beautiful. Wow, I'm so obsessed. Ooh la la. Wow. So guys, I'm really happy because so getting this car was a huge goal of ours was to both work hard and change our cars was one of the things we wanted to do so um and we wanted matching ones so i i know this is like obviously there's a lot of important things in life and materialistic things isn't one of them but this was more a point of like us setting goals for ourselves and achieving it which i'm so proud of we are going to uh our clinic now today is the first day of dr s dentistry clinic if you guys don't know Seoul has um opened a branch in 80 Harley Street really reasonable prices very reasonable and um, doing all sorts of aesthetic dental work I was just showing everyone your car so oh, thanking you <laughs> congratulations yeah so she's doing all sorts of aesthetic dental work um, so like composite bonding veneers teeth whitening Invisalign teeth cleaning etc like hygiene appointments so and they're really, really reasonable like honestly more reasonable than any other London dentist. Um, so anyway, I want to be Sohol's first patient. So we had always had this plan, the day we opened Dr. S Dentistry, the first patient will always be me. So I'm actually getting Invisalign done with Sol, which I'm so excited about. She's gonna go on to the cleaning now. She's got a full day ahead of her. Um, and I'm just gonna be here to enjoy the ride and get my like Invisalign. <laughs> I'm obsessed that the inside of this car is black and cream by the way. Do you like it? I'm yeah. so you like it. Because I did choose another one. A black was it black or grey? It was grey. Oh uh, no, gray. yeah, that, there was one you chose that I really didn't like because I just felt like the <coughs> specifications like the specs it had on it wasn't that impressive for the price that they wanted you to pay for it shop smart guys look around guys uh, i think it took you how long did it take you to find this car so i wanted a car from before i wanted a car yeah. so it's taken her a long time do you find this <laughs> and she keeps telling me about all the she's so cute she's like oh my god look how my steering wheel heats up <laughs> show, show us so show us okay so it's warm now touch it so Oh wow, okay, this is so good for winter. There's a little button here and you press it and it heats it up. She's showing off too much now, <laughs> showing off too much. See me rolling, they're hating. I already know what my next car is going to be. Mm. Well, I told the guy as well. I said, look, I want you to sell me my next car and this is what it's going to be. And I want it. What do you guys think? Do you think that like she's just got a car, she should more be like, oh, I love this car. Right I love now. this car. Or she should be thinking, yes, always on to, like not on to the next one, but isn't always thinking about the bigger picture and what's next. Because I feel like it needs to be a bit of both, in my opinion. You need to be appreciative of what you have now, which she obviously is. But you also need to set yourself big goals. <laughs> In New York City, in New York City, she Ooh la la. Wow. How pretty is it in here? I love this place. This view is so cute. So guys, we've just taken the pics for my Invisalign. I'm so excited to start this journey. Woo! Guys, it's so easy. Next step is that we take some impressions of Seppi's teeth and we send them off 
and the whole process is really easy and simple yay so book yours today <laughs> So I've decided that I need to get my shit together. I am getting ready. Well, I'm actually already ready. I'm just trying to find my lip balm. Doesn't this always happen to you? I think it's still like in my suitcase, which I haven't unpacked. I am that girl who doesn't unpack straight away after a holiday. I'm an absolute nightmare and I should fix myself, but I'm not going to do it right now. Um, so I need to try and find some lip balm. I'm going to the gym because I need to get my life together and then I've got my laptop and my new favourite thing to do is to study in cafes and I realised this when I was in Abu Dhabi and I managed to edit three vlogs in a coffee shop because I really had nothing else to do because I was stranded there alone um, so that's what I'm gonna do today I have to study because believe it or not even once you qualify as a doctor the studying doesn't stop there's always exams and I've got an exam coming up in like January or February I don't even know when it is um, not because they haven't told me I mean they haven't told me as well but because I don't even know um, so I'm just revising for it like just you know winging it as we go but I want to kind of be dedicated and working hard from a good period like give myself at least like two months of good revision so I feel like I need to do that by getting out of the house so I'm first gonna get myself pumped up with some exercise and then I'm gonna go to a little coffee shop sit down maybe have a little bit of tea and do some work so that is what we are doing you're coming with me because I need some moral support for this not joking, it's a tough one. I hate studying. I don't hate studying, I love learning, don't get me wrong, but it's like, I love learning when I don't have to physically like learn for an exam. Like I like it when it's no pressure. When I have exams again, it just like puts me through that stress of med school. You're just like, oh my God, I have an exam. Like what if my whole life ends if I don't pass this and all that stress and jazz. So I just need to kind of remind myself like, you know, you've already kind of made it. You've got the degree already, so. <sighs> Okay, let's, let's go work out. I clearly can tell by this rambling that I just need to like blow off some steam. Um, also, from Abu Dhabi, some of you guys were saying I've lost weight, like that from what you can tell. And that is true. I gained some weight in summer. Um, and that was mainly because we were let out of lockdown. So I just wanted to live my best life and go out and eat all the time. And then I went on a bit of a intermittent fast slash meal prep thing and I lost a few kilos. And then I feel like I lost like another kilo and then I've kind of left it off. But my body is just not that strong muscle that it used to be. Like now when I do this, like everything just shakes. Like I feel like I've like got like a lot of fat now and nothing's just muscly and toned. Do you know what I mean? So that is what my goals are now in the gym as well. So we're going to smash these goals together. The other thing that's freaking me out is that my camera is flashing like red camera battery. And it's because I haven't charged my camera since before I went on holiday like I don't even know like if it was powered by solar energy this whole holiday because I I basically didn't charge it and I managed to like film three vlogs okay let's go let's go worst comes worst I'm gonna swap to my iPhone um so soz if that happens I was planning to go to a coffee shop but it's 8 pm, so obviously there was no coffee shop. But I have like a lot of stuff on my mind and I'm trying to empty it into my manifestation journal and also work stuff that I don't want to forget into my diary. That's what we're doing at dinner. And I also ordered a vegan cheeseburger. Who am I? I just thought it sounded healthy. Not too start the gym, but to start. Here is my little vegan burger. I'm gonna see if I like it or not. It's surprisingly good. Very good actually. So I just got home from the coffee shop that I was studying in and you guys would have seen that like in the last clip or whatever. And basically um, this boy and girl come in and they were two medical students and it was so obvious what uni they went to as well because of the area of the coffee shop that I was in and like 
I just, I could tell because like they had like their badges and like med students have their uni badge and they, you also get like your NHS ID card. So, and then they started talking about the fact that they're medical students too. So I just knew they were medical students. Anyway, this is so relevant to the story. But basically the guy and the girl were like, oh, like this is so horrible. Which one of us should start first? And then they basically talk about how each of them were dating someone and then got screwed over. And then the girl's story upset me the most. Don't mind me overhearing all this, but basically I was trying to study and I just couldn't because they literally, the whole, like half the coffee shop was empty and they came and sat next to me. So I feel like they were asking for me to listen. Um, obviously not, but still I just couldn't help it. So anyway, um, the girl was talking about how she just broken up with her boyfriend and then, um, because of, I can't remember if it was like a bad relationship or whatever, but like had become really close with this other guy who she used to be really good friends with and like she told him she wants to take things slowly because she just come out with a breakup or whatever um but like they were spending a lot of time together etc then after like three weeks or something he of them like i can't remember how what the three weeks situation was about was about like did they stop hanging out and then three weeks later he started like he had a girlfriend after three weeks and she was saying how she confronted him yesterday and she was like you know what the hell i thought you loved me blah 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 and he was like, no, I do love you, I love you, like, you're, like, you're my best friend as well, and, like, I love being around you, and all this shit, basically. And it just sounded, like, really, I felt really bad for her, because she was like, I keep comparing myself to the girl that he's seen now, and thinking, like, why am I, like, not good enough, like, to be with him? Like, what does, like, what do I lack? And she was stunning like i think she was such a beautiful girl and she was like oh like i'm tall she's short like she's smart i'm and like she was saying how they're both medical students so you're both bloody smart and like all this stuff and she was making these comparisons and i was just thinking like when she was saying like how she it made her feel insecure it just came this like this lump in my throat and i felt so sad because it made me think like why girl can you not see your self-worth um there's gonna be points in like, and you know, it made me super sad as well because I could totally relate to her. Like I've had situations with guys go to shit and then they start seeing someone else after and I do exactly what that girl does, which is overthink, not necessarily compare myself to the other girl, but think that I'm lacking something. And I feel like that's the stupidest thing you can do. Like realistically, people sometimes don't work out because you're just not compatible like that is the end of the story like you're not compatible because you're different if you were the same you would click you would understand each other and you wouldn't have led to a point where you wouldn't be together do you know what i mean and sometimes you just need to like understand that it will all like make sense in the future like i remember my first heartbreak i think i was depressed for a year and i think it took me a year and a half to like fully get over it and like I would say yeah a year and a half to like fully be over it and like finally be like actually happy like not fake being happy and like these things just suck when they happen but you shouldn't let it affect your confidence a never ever ever cry over a boy my sister always tells me obviously if you are into girls into boys this is just my what my sister tells me and it's so darn true. Never ever ever cry over someone who tries to break your heart. They're not even worth one tear. Like, um, I really stand by that and I just felt really sad for that girl. Like I wanted to tell her, you're awesome. You'll find someone way better than this guy. He sounds toxic and he sounds, sh I feel bad for the girl that he's seeing now because he just sounded like a bit of a dick really. And he wasn't really loyal to the girl that he's seeing now if he was seeing her too. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, that is the, um, coffee shop drama for you guys so that took up a solid like 15 minutes of my studying like I was you know what's funny was like when I was getting questions right whilst listening to this combo I was like shit like you're actually quite smart because you're not li you're not actually reading these questions you're listening to this conversation so I'm a true multitasker there anyway me and Sol are going to go out now I want my parents to come too I want to go somewhere different and just chill. I don't have work tomorrow, which I'm so happy about. My first day off in five days. I've been working, I had to work um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Oh, I didn't work Thursday actually, so it's my first day off in four days. So Thursday, Friday, no, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, that's it. And then I get Tuesday off because I work the weekend. <laughs> I would show you Sol, but she's in her towel. I am wearing stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Cleopatra, <laughs> Halloween is over, calm down. <laughs> I'm tired. I feel you. Do you 
Do you not want to go out? I definitely want to go out. I need to go out. Okay, we'll, we'll go out. Is mummy and daddy coming with us? Daddy is not. Mummy said she'd love to. Me and Sol both drive two seater cars now, um, which is a kerfuffle. Because we. Kerfuffle? We'll still. Well, I got a four seater. Yeah, we still have four seaters in the family land, but. So. Guys, what'd you set? what do you think of the new foundation I got? Um, it's good. I'm wearing Too Faced Born This Way that Sol got. I like my Nards one as well. Anyway, I'll come back to you in a sec. Sol, my mum, my dad. We're going to this pub here because up there in the corner you can sit outdoors and it just looks really cute. Um, so I'm really excited. So this is my outfit tonight. I don't know if you can see really well because it's dark but I'm wearing like black leather jacket, black crop top, black jeans, everything black and then a white bag. Um, so yeah. I just landed in Abyssinia. So much on anti-social need. Everyone is so anti-social. No, 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 no. We're this pub is really cute. By the way, the terrace was so cute, but it has no heaters and it's tiny. So we decided. Do you want Guni? Excellent. Excellent, Guni. That's the number. We decided not to sit there because it was too cold. My dad's chilling. So we sat inside, which is equally just as cute. I will show you guys. I just This is the prettiest area. I was too I was too hungry so I already had two slices out of my bagel but it's basically turkey cheese and tomato and then I've made myself a latte and this is my mug it says OBGYN at your cervix which is basically standing for obsingaini which is the specialty that I want to do and my best friend Christina and Mickey got me this um, and I just love it I think of them every time I drink from this and it motivates me because that is the specialty that I am applying for. <laughs> and I'm always like, oh, you think I'm pretty. <laughs> My eyelashes. I'm trying to decide if I should do them again or not. Shall I do my eyelashes again? Yeah, definitely. I'll book in this week. Too. 